Another classification that we have for petrochemicals are the following. Paraffins, olefins, naphthenes, and aromatics. So why do we separate them? Especially because, well, first, because they have very unique physical and chemical properties. They are, for instance, let's say if we're talking about paraffins, we know that these are hydrocarbon chains that are single bonded between each other, typically in linear chains. So what do you, why would you want that? If you're using them as a fuel, they are very clean fuels. They burn very uh, completely, typically will have high yields of energy. And why do you want paraffins? For this, for energy, essentially. If you're talking about gasolines, you want octane. If you're talking about maybe kerosene, you're talking about maybe C12 up to C16 linear chains and so on. Then we have olefins. These are the most precious one of all these four. Why? Because the market or the petrochemical industry has a very huge demand of this. So the linear alkanes have this part here, which is the double bond. Why would you want the double bond? For mainly plastic production. You know that if you break this one, you can add several units between them and they will produce polymers. But also there are a lot of chemical, let's say, pathways, which will favor other products. So let's say that essentially is because of the plastic, but also it's very convenient for other types of materials. Then we got the naphthenic, which is classified as a cyclic aliphatic hydrocarbon, which I actually prefer just to call cyclic alkanes. What are these? They are single carbon, not single bonded carbons, which have a cycle, but doesn't necessarily have to be six, pentanes as well, butanes and so on. So they are very used because they are already in a cyclo material. Actually, if you were to separate naphthenes, you will smell them differently than a paraffinic or olefinic mixture. And finally, aromatics. Probably you know them already. It's benzene we're talking about. It's cumin. We're phenol. We're talking about uh, toluene, helanes. We want these because they have unique properties, especially as physical and chemical properties. Okay, so very important that not all double bonded cyclocanes will be aromatics. Remember that we gotta have a delocalized p electron clouds in the structure. Okay, so just keep that in mind whenever I'm telling you something about olefins. Instantly think about carbons with double bonds. If I'm talking about paraffins, that the material is very light, typically paraffins will tend to be very volatile. So try to imagine a CC carbon. And we're talking about some petrochemical production, about the, how it is uh, very convenient for us due to the ring. Probably we're talking about aromatics.